now's a good time to just spend a few minutes talking about the difference between tap water and bottled water because not only do you have to be mindful, you know, obviously that, that the water you drink is clean, but you need to be able to make good consumer decisions as to whether or not it's worth it to, um, to purchase bottled water or if tap water will do. Um, so first of all, let's talk a little bit about where the water and bottled water comes from. As it turns out, um, the sources, this is just a, a, a diagram from your textbook going through you know, the, the steps uh, in the life of the creation of bottled water from the source to the market. And the sources are um, either protected underground springs and wells, and protected meaning that, you know, they're carefully um, regulated to make sure that people aren't dumping, you know, chemicals nearby, it's not near a chemical facility or something like that, or municipal supplies, okay? So all bottled, all bottled water is not spring water. Some of it is just, um, you know, from somebody else's tap other than your own. Um, but the thing is, that's where the bottled water starts. Um, and this is basically the end of where, um, you know, your water supply that's coming out of your tap may, may start, start or end up. It's where the bottled water starts. And so the next uh, step for bottled water is this multi-barrier practices for safety to make sure that the water is free of contaminants. Um, they protect the source, you know, make sure that the springs and the, um, the uh, municipal um, providing the water is, uh, stays safe from contaminants. They continually monitor the source uh, of their water. Um, they subject the water to fur uh, further purification more than would be uh, just from a regular tap source. Um, for example, they may um, do reverse osmosis to remove um, some of the ions that are still present in water. Uh, they may um, is subjected to ultraviolet light, which would kill bacteria. They may distill it, which would uh, remove the um, salts. Um, they may subject it to micron filtration. Those are filters on the scale of microns or micrometers, which would filter out um, bits of bacteria. And finally, uh, they may be subjected to ozonation, which again would kill bacteria. So it's, it's above and beyond what would um, be normally done for tap water. Um, then uh, federal regulations, there's federal regulations that regulate the bottling of water. And um, for example, the plants, um, how they're put together, the plants where they process this water, um, the facilities to make sure they stay clean, um, process controls to make sure everything's done uh, within guidelines, quality standards and labeling standards. Um, there's also state regulations. They, they conduct inspections of bottled water sources and facilities. So you've got two more le levels of protection above and beyond a, a regular municipal source. And then finally, um, there's self-imposed industry regulations um, that sets its own set of standards which are even stricter than the FDA or the EPA. And those members are subject to annual Unannounced, unannounced plant inspection by nationally recognized uh, third-party organization. So this is like a professional organization that um, kind of self-regulates to make sure if you're going to call yourself, you know, bottled water, you live by these standards. All right. So, um, so obviously, um, you know, the, at every step along the way is added expense. So as it turns out, um, bottled water, depending on the brand, is 250 to 100,000 times more expensive than tap water, okay? Well, you can imagine if you're going to go to all the trouble to, um, you know, clean it up more, test it more, put it in bottles, you gotta buy the bottles, you gotta pay people to put it in the bottles, and then you have to ship the bottles around, okay? All of that adds expense. And on average, though, a bottled water is about a thousand times, is on average, a thousand times more expensive than tap water, which makes um, most bottled water more expensive than milk. All right, you know, milk, imagine what you have to do to get milk. You have to have cows and you have to feed the cows and you have to milk the cows. Okay, with the water, um, there's a lot less going on um, to make water than there is to, to make milk, but it's a lot more expensive. Okay, so uh, why do people drink bottled water? Well, um, some prefer the taste because when some of these um, practices are, are done, like for example, reverse osmosis or distillation, some bad tasting um, ions can be removed from, even if the ions aren't um, unsafe, they may not taste good. And so they can be removed. And then sometimes other 
ions are put back in uh, to the water. And so in that, that regard, people feel like it's healthier than tap water. Also, there's the convenience factor of if you are away from, you know, a clean water source, then you may have to rely on bottled water. Um, if there's been some kind of disaster or you're traveling in such a way that you don't have access to clean drinking water. So in some regards, you know, it's necessary to have, but the industry has grown so much over the years just based on, um, you know, marketing and convincing people that bottled water is better than tap water. But this option for most people on the planet is not a viable option for getting clean water. So with all the money we spend on buying and marketing and producing you know, bottled water for people who already have access to clean water, it kind of makes you think, um, what are we doing for the poor folks that have, uh, don't even have a well in their, in their village? Okay, so you, you might want to think twice um, before uh, spending money on bottled water.